They always say that we're either a product of our environment or we're a product of our family. Well, one thing is for certain, for most of us, we're all a product of sex. Yeah, two people had to get together to make you. <laughs> so I am your host, Jean Carl Ladero, and welcome to Real Talk. And today we're going to be talking about the evolution of sex. I know Ajifa's face was like, what is going on? <laughs> Why did I have a feeling sex was going Set up. Like, <laughs> I just knew. Oh my God. Okay, so to start off the conversation, um, it really got me thinking that we've come a long way, whether it's with technology, whether it's with our friends, but definitely with sex, because there's some crazy things going on right now. So I want to know, what do you think people's attitudes are towards sex? What do I think people's attitudes are towards sex? Mm -hmm. Has from this now, from my own personal society, which is here in Lagos, I believe people's people are still afraid of showing that they like sex. People are still afraid of being judged for liking sex, and people don't want people to know that they like sex. Mm. We have a general warped thinking of what sex is, mm. and. Um, we have a general warp thinking of how to enjoy sex. Mm -hmm. That's what I that, that, that's how what I feel. How to enjoy sex, wow. I feel like in my community, you know, from what I've observed as a Nigerian, as a Negotian or whatever it is, I feel like a lot of people are kind of over it. I kind of, it's, sex has kind of become overrated. I, I mean, the people around me, do you get, because back in the day, it was like, oh, you had sex, oh, well, you did this. But now people are like, okay, you had sex, okay, fine. What's next? Do you get, I'm not, I'm, I don't see a lot of people react. I think you're saying too, too close. <laughs> no, 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 like, no, but, no, but Dave, like, you cannot compare to when you were in university and now about how people react to when you talk about sex or post sex on social media. Like, a lot of, a lot of women are more liberal with their bodies, with their sexuality, with how, what, they, you know, what they stand for when it comes to sex. A lot of people are putting it out there that, yo, I like sex 700 times a day, that's your business. I feel like people will always um, bark more than they bite, especially when it comes to sex. A lot of people took their horns and say, mm -hmm. oh, I'm this, I'm that. And mm -hmm. like you said, when it really gets down to it, it kind of... Nothing. Get, Nothing. Get flustered. No. Yeah, and so like what he said, to, to like I said, to go back a bit, people are in Nigeria today mm -hmm. scared of talking about sex and their sexualities and what they enjoy during sex. I think it's a bit of a culture thing, mm -hmm. especially with the women, because I feel like our culture um, pushes for women to be more reserved. The more reserved you are, the more you are valued as a lady. So I think it's like a cultural thing, a Nigerian thing. But truth be told, we all wish that people could, could come forward and be more vocal about what they enjoy sexually. That's just my piece. Um, should there be set rules when it comes to sex in relationships? Yes. No. Even when we're just talking? Wait, what do you mean like set no. rules? What like, do you mean by set rules? I, I feel like, Whatever yeah. it is that you think I mean. <laughs> like, I feel like, Set up. like why should there be boundaries like oh, no why? okay now there shouldn't be okay, boundaries no, okay. Okay. Now, what is rules that hey, don't be like that whipping thing no 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 not, not, <laughs> Wait, no, no, not whipping thing what's going on what are you guys talking about like, like, BDSM. No, yeah. the story is on the um, BDSM. On Twitter. okay then well, no, okay, okay, well, cool. what's BDSM <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay right okay now so for what I think what you're talking about is for a long time I always wondered why I always wondered why being bloated was a reason for not to have sex. Every woman says they won't have sex because they feel bloated. Yeah. And I'm, yeah, but for us men, it's a very stupid reason. And I didn't realize that it wasn't unstupid until I was actually living with a woman. I'm like, hmm, I see why. <laughs> and I should actually unlearn what I already know yeah, yeah, and right. relearn right. what is yeah. right. Yeah. So for me, that's what I think sex rules are. Yeah. You, should, you should know like, okay, I know that once woman has finished chowing and she's relaxed and I'm like, oh, I just want to just spread. Just leave her. Those, leave her be. Don't get me doing it. <laughs> Honey, <laughs> I'm feeling it. And when she says no, you're not be getting angry. You're feeling yeah. yourself. <laughs> you're feeling yourself, brother. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the thing I like, set rules. Like there are boundaries, there are things that you just know 
as a couple, know what she likes, know when it yeah. is, know the time. But, yeah. but is that a rule? That's, those are that rules. is so I feel like, I feel like those are unwritten rules. rules. Yeah, yeah, I feel like that is yeah. more about but it's understanding. Or maybe that's a preference because maybe there's some girls that are like, oh yeah, I just got all that cheese in me, so I want you and me too. Like, wait, yeah, that's not a rule. That's not a rule. When I'm tired and relaxed, just come and pounce on me and knock me out to sleep. That's how I'm getting. Where is that cheese? I'm like. Okay, but why See, did you say liberation. no? Why did you say because no? Because I feel like uh, with anything in life, and this is not just about sex, mm -hmm. I feel like you shouldn't try to put things in a box. Mm -hmm. I feel like you should experiment on a constant basis. Now, after experimenting, you can say, okay, you know what, babe, this did not work for me. But not as if we're just meeting now and we're just starting out. And you just say, hey, come, higher education. These are the rules. Yeah. Don't wait, do wait, this. Don't question. do that. But, like, but what's wrong with that? Right? If I just met you and we're mm -hmm. still like in like that awkward space where, you know, we're not, I, I, I think. Comfortable that, enough Yeah, where we're other. not comfortable. Why can't I just be like, here's a set of rules. Here's a rule book on Yinka. <laughs> Read it. <laughs> okay, study so, it. Okay, you so, know? So, so check this out. Um, let's assume that you're a cheese person. Okay. And I don't like cheese at all. I'm just saying like, can't you at least try to convince or convert me to a cheese lover yeah. like shouldn't there be that that room for that and then if you try and then you fail you cannot say yo i cannot say yo this is why i don't like cheese because we have tried it but if you just say don't even try it they will they will serve me this cheese okay see where i'm going so okay. try it first doesn't try it before you knock it that's what i'm saying all right, I see that perspective, but also, what is when you're not in a relationship? Mm -hmm. Are there certain rules towards sex if you're not in a relationship? Uh, well, personally, you know, like person, I am celibate, so I mean, I, I'm not having any sex. But yes, there <coughs> should be rules. <coughs> I don't know what's in this drink. <coughs> Continue. Mm. Okay. Do you have references? No, no, no. Have no. we had sex no, before? No, no, no. Okay. No, no. So, I mean, <laughs> this one that you're coughing so seriously, <laughs> like you know me. I'll just take my face. Yeah, so I know, I know. So, I mean, basically, I'm, person I'm personally celibate, but, um, you know, before I took the decision to be celibate, you know, yes, they there have to be rules because, I mean, evidently, you're not going to, you don't want to walk around and get some nonsense disease. You know, you don't want to end up with, I don't want to end up with somebody that was supposed to be a one night stand. You don't want to end up being miserable, miserable, or you don't want to end up, you know, being in a sexual relationship with somebody who, you know, had sex with a friend of yours, or who had sex with somebody that you dated before, who is, who is a friend to somebody you dated, you know? So, I mean, even in the space where you're not in a relationship, when it comes to sex, you should have rules. I know of one rule. People, I know of one rule that most guys, uh, yeah, well, use a condom. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. But with that, it's also a preference now. I'm telling you, this is yeah, the because, evolution yeah, some of sex. Like, yeah, well, some people are allergic to it. To be honest, but <laughs> so, you see. So, sex is a rule. <laughs> Okay. But it's a rule. Same sex, sex is a rule. rule. Whether, yeah. I, whether I use condoms Condom, or I use yeah, uh, feminines or I use uh, pee pills or whatever, same sex is a rule. Okay. Another rule that most people do not even understand how it works is no means no. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That yeah. is a society that, rule. That, that's a society that rule. That, no, that, should, that, that is not a society rule. Because that's like a Because if it was, it was, it was, it was, it was it a person, person argument with a bunch of different people. Um, but there's there's no one there's no there's no 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 she's coming like she doesn't want to but she actually wants it but gentlemen kings <laughs> <laughs> don't mistake there's nothing like from if she if she's if you feel she's fronting then maybe she probably doesn't want it stop it exactly yeah. save yourself on ask her. Her. Ask her. Are you don't even ask no, she has given you the signals that's giving you signals. No means no. So, what is sexual liberation, and do you guys think there's a space for it in a relationship? Well, to me, um, sexual liberation would be, you know, when I get to a point that I am free to be a sexual being that I actually am in every way, express myself, express my preferences, express the things I like, be able to express it to people, be able to express it in public, you know, be able to put it out there that yes, I am a woman, but I am a sexual being as well. That right there for me, and the, the freedom to be able to tell people even the deep, deepest, darkest, kinkiest, you know, things that I would prefer, you know, in my sexual life. That for me is sexual liberation for me personally. You just took the words out of my mouth. 
the moment you, you, you find yourself being able to express yourself sexually, freely, mm. with someone that you're in a relationship with and someone and that you're not, public. without the fear of being judged. Yeah. That, that is it. Okay, so moving on with this, we've talked about sex so, so, so much, which lets me <laughs> to think, can there be intimacy without sex? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yes. I just had a smiling like you. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Cool. That other like thing. No, no, no. What, what do you mean? Well, uh, no, I think it's you said because you're celibate, celibate, you know. Celibate, so. yeah, no, but like I thing. mean, celibacy is wholesome. It's not just oh, you say you're not gonna have sex. It's the, it's the whole nine yards. So, mm. I mean, mine was for spiritual reasons. You know, okay. I'm a Christian. I said, okay, you know what? If I go to abstain. Mm. So basically, in the context of celibacy, you completely are off sexual activity with the lord's help mm -hmm. <laughs> but um i can tell you for free hey yes there is a lot of intimacy without actual yeah no <laughs> without the actual you know, act like of, making out with, and stuff without think, the yeah. actual act Anything of sex sexual, of course yeah. there's intimacy okay. do you think that a a man a 20 something year old man yeah. now expects his girlfriend to have never had sex with anybody until they get married these days i see a lot of people who you know like the girls that get married these days are the people who were the bad girls i know it's like people, people like us that were that were actually yeah people like us that were actually for me oh you know i'm keeping my body for jesus i'm trying to be a christian i'm covered with the blood of jesus why the ones that's too single all the girls who were bad girls that we knew that were sleeping with, oh, we could mention about 15, like in a circle, we could mention 15 guys they've slept with. They're the ones that are married today. No. So what, so what shifted, you no, know? Let me, now, let me add to what you're saying because you're right. Yeah. Now, when we were in uni, like, there, 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 there was a new saying that came up while we were probably in 2011 and everything. And, the, and, the, and it was, I don't know if it's a bad word to say, but now, now let's show the marry first. Okay. So like, that's basically, it's the prostitutes that marry, that, 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 that marry first. And when, when, when we started finishing school, we started seeing it, I actually seen it because... <laughs> Trust fam, me. And it made sense when I got older. Do you know that men have... Men... Sorry to say, but most men are so stupid with this their narrative yeah. of, of, of playing the field yeah. and then looking for somebody who hasn't actually played, played the, the field. field. Now, most men were raised by women who trained them to do that. Our mothers told us, go and play the field so that you find the right woman to marry. So it's our mother's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. I just want to know See, what you're saying. Call that ticket there. <laughs> you know? I know enough men that these were the way they were raised, including myself. Mm -hmm. But my mother did not tell me to judge women who also played the field. That is where most people get it wrong. Mm -hmm. Now, men who play the field, they now look for a woman that has not played the field, mm -hmm. but knows how to play the field in the marriage. Then they, they, yeah, well, she they're not married to a novice. She doesn't. Out. They are too frustrated to teach her. They or step out. They step out. Mm. And then they will not call it it's sexual liberation. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So, I mean, I the, the society, the narrative is all messed up from the beginning. Yeah. Guys play the field. Women should play the field. When you're finished playing, you find your skill level. Oh, without sex, you know, we Africans, the major thing is sex. If you have any relationship with any girl, it's sex. I want to be frank with you. Somebody buying 20 cars, 50 cars, everything, sex. You join to attract women, sex. No sex. Without it, forget it. No, no relationship. That relationship cannot even your, your wife. An African man, if you have a wife, he refuses to give you to have an. You look towards somewhere. And that way. Uh -huh. Sex, too important. God himself knows that. Okay, um, the question is like asking me if um, a feel is important in a car. Alright, so if it's a relative question, alright, it's one of the things that drive relationship. Without sex, I mean it's one of the, the most important thing in a relationship. Man, uh, as now, you are dating a man now. You are coming to that man's house every day. Every day I will spend money for you, and that man will not see your pants. The man will not be happy. And the reason why I think sex is not important in a relationship is it's not the standing factor. Love should come first before sex. I'm actually in a relationship that involves intimacy without sex. The man must give the girl something, but sex is what the man wants. 
98% sex, African Nigerians, Africans. Even white men have been say 55. But Nigerians, this Nigerians you are seeing today, this man, he got uh, sex is the ultimate. Yeah, sex is overrated. It is because if, if you grew up in Nigeria particularly, like right from childhood, there's this thing our parents do to shield us because of, you know, sex, they tend to. So everybody, I mean, most of us there, we're inquisitive. What is this thing they are preventing us from experiencing or seeing? So, you know, at some point you get to explore, especially when you get to secondary school, you start to explore and then. So, uh, so I guess if we're exposed to it at that early stage, we won't be so inquisitive about it. I think it won't be as, you know, as, as bad as it is today. All right, and we have spent all of this time talking about sex, which begs the final question, is sex overrated? And we've just spent all of our time talking about it. Well, I don't think so. In short, it's not, it's not, I don't think, it's not overrated. It is overrated. Why isn't it overrated? Because I still get excited by it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's you, yeah. that's you. Yeah. But it's just like me. It's not as if no, I I don't get excited by the thoughts of you know you know eventually get to the point where I'm having regular sex and all of that. It, it's exciting, but doesn't mean that it's not overrated. So you can't use yourself to judge. It's overrated well, well, based on. Well, but he's using yourself because I'm asking his opinion. I can say you're using yourself to judge. So what me I'm talking about is society wise, like mm. in my experiences in society, not really about me. Mm. Do you get sex? Not overrated for me because you know I'm slowly waiting for when you can, it yeah. can be regular. <laughs> but what I'm saying is this, you know, in society, it's kind of becoming overrated because a lot of people, not like it was back in the day where everybody was like, oh, I can't wait to have sex. No, I met a lot of people who lost their virginities and they didn't even know what happened when they mm. lost their virginity. They were just like, oh, I don't remember. I think I was probably drunk, mm -hmm. you know? So, I mean, left to me in society, is slowly becoming overrated. So you think we put too much emphasis on it as a society? Yes. Okay. All right. okay. I can agree with that. I think sex is not overrated. I think it's a beautiful thing. Do not say, why are you looking at me? <laughs> I don't but, think so beautiful. I think, I think it should happen under the right circumstances at all times. That's all. All right, so in my opinion, uh, is sex overrated? Well, after all, all this conversation, I'm going to have to say yes, because y'all got, y'all really got into it. And I'm like, there's so many other things to worry nice. about, to discuss about, um, to to feel this visceral in our defense, about. <laughs> in our defense, real talk, give us the topic. <laughs> No, I do because it's always something that people love to talk about, and I think maybe it's also gender um, focused as well. I think maybe a lot of females, and not saying that there aren't females out there that really, really enjoy sex and place an importance on sex, but I just think in general for society, females don't really place. We're not really like too. Not saying that we don't enjoy it, but just say that we're not like too charged. Um, okay. And guys may be a little bit more. <laughs> Dear Daddy is child. just getting sexual revelations from this thing. Yeah. That's it, okay. <laughs> Excuse him. So, <laughs> so, that's valid point. But carry on. Talk after you can record. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. All right, well, this seems like a good place to end it. Thank you all so much for coming and being honest Thank on you Real for Talk. And, and really wow. engaging the passion. It was there. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't, I don't need women to be liberated. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> the passion is definitely there. I had a great time here. I've Red Lounge and Lucky, the treats were delicious. And thank you guys at home for also watching. As always, the conversation does not end here, so be sure to comment below. Um, and also, you know, get connected with us on all of our social media platforms at Indani TV. And be sure to use Indani Real Talk in your comments. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.